there's a new general ai agent recently released is called manus manus is a fully autonomous ai agent you ask it to do something it will perform that task manus has its own computer its own browser it will do its own research if it is required to visit any website so it will do that it will perform any task that you ask and then it will finish that task and present the relevant results just like this example this user asked to create a very detailed travel plan to japan with his fiance and manus created this custom very detailed handbook for user for the travel plan someone on x has created this flight simulator game the prompt was very simple the prompt was code a 3 gs game where you control a plane so it created this 3d plane game where manus is controlling this plane this is a complete 3d environment with complete game logics then there is this viral video on internet where manus is doing 50 different tasks on one computer screen. Screen. It is doing multiple tasks at the same time such as analysis, posting, financial transactions, research and purchasing all of that Manus is capable of doing now. After looking at these different use cases I can say that this is probably the closest version of AGI. If you remember OpenAI recently announced this kind of AI agent that could cost up to $20,000 a month. But again just like DeepSeek a Chinese company is out there to completely outsmart OpenAI. There are these different use cases on their website that Manus has performed so far. Right now Manus is not publicly available to join. You can apply for access on their website but let's have a look at these different use cases let's suppose this use case which is a list of yc companies so let me just open that then i can simply just click on this replay button and now you can see it will replay all of the tasks that it has just performed so the task was compile winter 2025 b2b enterprise information into table and right now it is just performing all of these tasks it is going to buy combinator website it is getting all of the information and then it is identifying all of the companies that fall under b2b enterprise and this is how it is presenting now so this is the list of all of y combinator companies in winter 2025 batch that are actually b2b companies let's have a look at this use case which is research on e-commerce reviews of products let me just open that and now you can see it has started doing its research so online consumer sentiments on pool cleaning robot so there is this robot there is this product it's going to do that it is going to like do a proper detailed research of all of the reviews of this particular product this is just amazing i mean i have done some sort of like e-commerce business before so i know that how painful it is like scraping all of the reviews and then like analyzing all of the competitor reviews so it just does all of that for us so now you can see it has different categories of feedbacks it has these positive feedbacks and now it has these different negative feedbacks then in this category of navigation and movement there is a positive feedback which is only one then there are negative feedbacks which are like quite a lot then there is battery life and charging positive feedback and negative feedbacks so now i can better analyze that in these different features of this particular machine there are these positive feedbacks which are very minimum and then there are a lot of negative feedbacks so before buying this product or maybe if i am going to launch a competitor product i can do this research that could take maybe like weeks but now using minus i can do all of that within seconds let's have a look at this use case which is candidate interview schedule so now it is going to schedule maybe 40 interviews let me just click on this replay button and now you have provided this spreadsheet and based on this spreadsheet it will schedule their interviews so the prompt was here is the survey of available interviews time from april 13 to april 15 please create an interview schedule for me with two interview sessions each day one in the morning one in the afternoon the number of candidates in each session should be as evenly distributed as possible and the schedule should accommodate each student's available time please provide the most reasonable interview schedule so now it has provided that all candidates are scheduled according to their availability session distribution april 13 morning eight candidates april 13 afternoon seven candidates candidates april 14 morning six candidates april 14 afternoon eight candidates so all of that could take like a manual task maybe your pa or maybe your assistant could take like a long time to schedule this kind of interviews but now manus can do that there's this another interesting use case which is screening resumes for rl engineers so let me just open that I'm just click on review and now this was a prompt i'm an hr professional looking to hire a reinforcement learning algorithm engineer i prefer someone with relevant rl experience please help me organize candidate information from pdfs into a complete excel summary table including basic information and concise summary of project experiences focusing on key highlights and achievements please rank candidates based on their rl expertise and provide me with an excel file that includes all this information in an organized format i hope you can 
can carefully read through each candidate's resume one by one so it has provided a very detailed zip file it's a zip file that zip file has all of the resumes and now it is going to go through this zip file and now scan all of these different resumes and then create a spreadsheet based on this data again this is like this is revolutionary i mean this is something that now actually can help us in productivity that will help me especially a lot in my, during my hiring processes that that can actually help me to shortlist all of the resumes based on the because otherwise i just manually review all of that so now it can do all of that for me and just like that it has created this very detailed spreadsheet about all of the candidates it has organized all of these different candidates based on our requirements so anyone with more relevant experience is on top and anyone with the least relevant experience is on here on bottom there is this another use case about large real estate brokerages in major metro areas the prompt was find the largest real estate brokerages in each of the top 10 major metro areas and break them down by number of agents total number of transactions and total revenue average commissions per side so now it is going to get all of these different websites it is going to scrape all of these different websites and generate a very detailed report for us and just like that it has created this web page and this web page is actually live now on manage domain so we can see it is a proper functional website with all of these different top 10 metropolitan cities in america and then you can see all of the top brokerages by volumes are listed in here it's a proper functional landing page that has all of that information so we gave it this prompt and it created this landing page for us with all of the largest real estate brokerages in top 10 us metropolitan areas which is just amazing so this is revolutionary i have already applied for access and i hope that i get that access and then i can actually use it in my day-to-day -day work i'll create more videos about manners as soon as i get access so if you have not subscribed to this youtube channel please subscribe and if you have not clicked on that like button please just do that i see you next video bye bye